curious to get your thoughts on the reporting by the New York Times that Trump paid his children through his companies and then deducted the cost as a business expense. Did Funnel money to his children by creating this uh, major uh, maintenance organization and, and letting them get all the proceeds from it and you know, money up the cost of maintenance and this different uh, farm buildings. Hello everyone, this is Sher from Sher and Charlie's Personal Crafts. <sighs> Haven't seen you in a long time. I know, and it's been just so hectic and up and down with my health and you, you guys know the routine but I'm back today because I, I went through a period of um, hold on I went through a period of kind of a, a blank space I get like that sometimes if I'm not feeling good and when I go into a blank space I I cannot for the life of me think of a craft that I want to do I have to have feel well and have an open creative mind to make something that uh, not only that is good, but something that is a little bit different than what I see on, on YouTube. Um, every now and then I love to recreate something that a YouTuber makes, but I like to go off my own creativity and find something different. So that's why I'm on here today. But before we get started, Life with Mike won uh, the, the $250 giveaway. And um, so I did uh, contact Mike to get his address. I have his address, and but I've been so busy, I'm going to mail it out probably this week. So Mike, if you're watching, I will mail it this week. As far as him choosing a wreath, which I will do on video, um, I don't think he told me yet, but I got to check my messages because... I've been busy all weekend and I have to really look and see um, if he chose one. I told him to pick whatever he wanted. If I, I did say Christmas or fall, but I really don't care because I have a closet full of flowers and things like that ribbon I would like to use up. So um, I told him just pick whatever you want. So I gotta go through my messages. But Mike, if you are watching this video, you can let me know on this video which wreath you chose and I will make it on a video in fact I'm going to do the, the next video God spares I will do it that make the wreath as soon as I know from Mike so anyway so that's that so I just wanted to let you know it and Charlie is not here I was babysitting today for my grandson just a few hours because his father came and picked him up and I got a little bit of a break. So I babysat and I did spend, uh, Charlie was here last night and spent the night and he's doing really well. He's on an antibiotic. I took him to the vet and he had a little bit of a cyst on his back. I don't know how he got it. He's a dog and um, it, it's almost completely disappeared. If it didn't go down, then they were gonna have to, you know, take it out, but it looks like it's doing very well. So Charlie's doing wonderful. My cousin and I gave him that haircut and he looks really cute. So uh, you'll be seeing him real soon. So what am I drinking? I went on my way home from babysitting to Starbucks and got a frozen coffee frat. I always say frozen coffee and they always, um, they always correct me and say frap, so whatever. So this is a coffee frap. I do have homemade iced tea. Oh. I'm sorry, but I think Starbucks makes the best because Dunkin' Donuts just can't compete. Okay, so what I'm going to do is today, I want to show you, I bought, I've been working on some little baby pumpkins, which I will show you, but this was the, finally I got a little bit of a creative juices going in, in my uh, head and, um, I had purchased this little box. It was this color, like a white with a little bit of a texture to it. Uh, I didn't know what I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I had it for a long time. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? And um, I wanted to do a craft for you guys, and decided finally I, something came into my mind. 
So this is the box. I think it's adorable. I got it at Dollar General for two bucks. I painted it uh, with a Waverly chalk paint named Celery. That's the color. I put three coats and then it hit me what I want to do. So what I want to do is probably put some papers in here and then I made some baby pumpkins, handmade. I wish I had more material, but I don't. These are the ones I've worked on to, uh, all, I guess, the last couple weeks. There's another one. Aren't they cute? And then I made this one, which was a little bit bigger today, out of felt. And so I'm going to show you, because somebody asked me, how do you make your pumpkins? And aren't they adorable? This one's got like a little ribbon on it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with some papers and then I'm going to put some leaves in it. And then I am going to stencil on here pumpkins 20, uh, 25 cents. That's it. And, this, and then put it out as a little decoration. So that's what we're going to do today. So you'll need some stencils if you want or you can hand uh, paint it on here, whichever you want. I do have some stencils that I think will work for this. And um, so that's what we're going to do. But the first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut out my material. And we are going to use this orange color. I don't have very much material, but we're going to use this orange color. So what you will need for this to make a baby pumpkin, or if you want a larger pumpkin, it's up to you. You'll need um, the box if you want to put them in a box, or if you don't, you can do whatever you want. You'll need some material, some embroidery thread, and I didn't get this at the dollar store. I bought it in Walmart, and I'll tell you why. In the Dollar Tree, they give you like, I think four little packs of embroidery thread. And for me, this was $4.29, and, and you get 36 pieces, uh, 8.75 yards each. Look at the colors. So it, to me, it's, it was worth it because I was constantly buying it, the embroidery thread. So I decided to get it at the Walmart, and it really turns out to be cheaper, so can't go wrong. Okay, so you'll need the embroidery thread. You'll need a needle. Uh, with kind of a longer uh, thread 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 hole, you, you know, because it's. I'll show you how to get it, get it through because it's a thicker thread. Scissors, hot glue, course a glue gun, something for a stem. I'm going to use rope to make my stem. Um, ribbon of any kind to decorate it, if you would like. And uh, that's about it. So as I do this, I may be speeding it up and I'm not gonna talk too much because I'm sort of off kilter. I've been that way for a while. That's why I haven't been on here. So I'm going to do it and I'll probably do a voiceover to show you uh, what exactly I am doing. That makes it easier for me so I can concentrate. So I'm happy to see everyone. I hope you're all doing fine. I want to thank my new subscribers. Please subscribe if you would like this type of video. Um, I like to do personal crafts. Um, not all the time, but some of the time. And uh, I'm really happy to see everyone. I'm happy to feel be feeling a little bit better. So let's get started.
Hello everyone, I just wanted to jump in here and tell you all I am doing is an in and out stitch. You go in and out of the material, pull it, it kind of folds like an, it kind of goes like an accordion, it comes together. And um, also, I forgot to tell you that you will need stuffing. You can use an old pillow, I purchased stuffing at Walmart. Uh, you could use old uh, grocery bags, whatever you have. Take an old pillow apart and use that. I'm making very tiny pumpkins, so I really don't need a lot of stuffing. But kind of play around with the feel of the pumpkin to make sure it's the uh, fullness that you want. And then when you get to the fullness that you want, you're going to sew it exactly the same way at the top before you go and do the um, in and out stitch from the bottom to the top, which you will see. I just want to thank my friends for sticking with me. I'm so thrilled. And every time I get another subscriber, I just jump for joy. I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, so thank you to my friends, Radha, Debbie, Deb, Deb, Debbie Eprica, uh, Debbie Baran, uh, Deborah Eprica, Debbie Baran, Donna, Rosemary, um let's see Kentastic, angela thank you guys for sticking with me even when i don't do any videos because i'm either wiped out or just not feeling up to uh, doing a craft because i want to give something good i want to do something different so i hope you like this one because i'm really happy with it I also want to give a special happy birthday to my granddaughters, two of them. Leah was the, 20th, the 20th, and my sweet granddaughter, Chloe, who I love from the bottom of my heart, just turned seven on Saturday, and we had such a beautiful time. I would love to put a picture of her up, but I know I'm not allowed to do that anymore. But happy birthday, Chloe. Grandma loves you. Okay, you can add as many grooves into the pumpkin that you want. For a larger pumpkin, you may need like eight. Uh, for this tiny pumpkin, six seem to look just fine. I also want to say hello to my sweet, dear friend, daughter, Jennifer Jasinski. Hi, Jenny, and my new friend, Craig. Hi, Craig, and my dear Brian. I want to say hi to you, and you guys are the best. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I finally came around and got my juices going to do something different and creative, and oh, God, I'm so excited.
just pop it in to let you know I am making the stem for the pumpkin. I am hot gluing two pieces of nautical rope together. Be very careful with the glue, folks. I've gotten burnt so many times. I am adding a big glob of glue to the top of the pumpkin. And as you see, when I put the, um, the nautical rope on the top, I squeeze the pumpkin together so that it adheres really well. I also want to say hello to my three wonderful children. How blessed am I? My son Wayne, who I love from the bottom of my heart. My daughter Tiffany, I'm so proud of you. You're such a wonderful mother. And my dear Sasha, my youngest baby. Hi Sasha, I love you with all my heart. And I'm very proud of all the three of you. Okay, now we are going to get the stencils out and I'm going to use a truffle color paint. It's like a brownish color, lovely color, to put the uh, words on there. Kind of like a box at a garden center with pumpkins for sale. I'm just showing you the color and how I stenciled it on. And you'll see the finished product. I also added a few little uh, freehand pumpkins. I paint it myself with these colors that I'm showing you. I just want to say goodbye to everyone. I hope you love this craft. I do. I put some raffia in the bottom and some leaves and you'll see the rest. I really love it. I'll pray for you. Please pray for me. God bless you all. Mm -hmm.